order for us to understand who Imam Hassan alayhi salam was, we must first understand who his parents were. And in order for us to understand who his parents were, we must first try to describe them. So can words describe Ali? Is a question asked by many and I've lived to write about him because each breath describing him is traced from the Prophet's lips. And no lies can be attributed to the father of Fatim. No man can succeed the perfection of Muhammad except a man who was raised by Muhammad perfectly. But virtues can only touch the surface of perfection. But virtues can only touch the surface of perfection and always return saying Ali is too perfect for me. And here I am. Lost for words between life's calligraphy. But what greater pen to untangle me than the pen of Wilayah that spills Ya Ali? So I ask the question that still confuses me. How can the world block me from a love that drowns me so deep it saves me? How love for him can get me killed, yet rescue me from the grips of hell that my sins have in store for me? How can the world not fall in love with Ali? That is the riddle that will forever be devil me like apples that fall from a tree. We fall in love with him through the inevitable force of gravity. How can the world just sit there and judge me, calling it madness? But is it madness if the universe itself spins me towards my insanity like a planet's velocity perpendicular to the son of Ali? No matter where I'm turned to, I'm blessed with him. Setting or rising, I'm faced with him. I'd, be, I'd happily be crazy and admit to any crime. I'd settle for words with no meaning, no rhyme. I'd fight, I'd fight with the with stars, stars and freeze and specks, specks of time if it means I can get caught in his paradigm. Can words describe Ali? I'll make it sweet and simple. Take the many particles of a nebula, each unit of cosmic dust, and see if you could build yourself a fiery sun. Suns and stars. Stars come in all different shapes and sizes and the most luminous tend to be the most short-lived. It's called the Eddington limit. A star normally balances its inward luminosity with its outward gravitational pull. But in some rare occasion, this limit is exceeded and the star becomes so extraordinarily bright that it can be seen burning galaxies away, making other stars seem like dust in its presence. But the universe only enjoys a spectacle for a short while before the star withers away, leaving a void in space that cannot be replaced. Fatima was a similar phenomenon. When she was born, a gift was placed in her father's arms and a burden was lifted from his heart and glittered where the skies with a million surrounding stars, yet she shone. As if darkness itself opened out its stubborn arms for her, the veiled queen of the universe. There she stood, a candle in the midst of darkness. When time and time again, her father would need a heart to burden, and Ali a soul to alleviate the frustrations, and she was, for both father and husband, a priceless fragrance. So it wasn't a surprise that many years later they would say Fatima mothered a daughter known to be a mountain of patience, and sons that would give all in the face of temptations. For that was the role of a star, and around her an orbit was built upon. So when she was gone, it was as if the stars that once shone by her side were orphaned, and the moon that once shared her light broken, and they were the moon and her young luminous children, a shattered cosmos. A cosmos that still shines, Despite the fractures, shrine or no shrine, they shine. So now that we know who his father is and who his mother is, 
When we, when talk, we talk about, about stars, stars, moons and suns, and suns we realize that, that there are no greater suns, suns than the suns of the sun himself. himself. And the and one, one sun we celebrate, celebrate today, his first grandson, grandson, he who is known, known as a beacon of kindness, of kindness. The, the grandson, grandson of mercy, the son of justice and brilliance. brilliance. In, any In any other world, world people, people would bow before his highness. highness. Yet this Yet man this showed, showed nothing, nothing but humility, humility and, and kindness, kindness to, the to the point where his kindness was shunned by the people of blindness. blindness. Yet, he Yet he remained a king in a, in a world that slowly, slowly forgot, forgot Ahmed, Ahmed and his kin. He, he saw the world through the sharp, yet patient eyes of Ali and, and walked it with the grace of Fatima, remaining resolute yet in motion a perfect combination. If alchemists sought gold in human iteration, they would realize Hassan is a perfect stellar collision, the unification of two stars to create a human rendition to walk the earth, reminding them with every footstep he takes, which each and every breath he takes and inhales, that he is the son of Muhammad, Ali, and Fatima, wa aflaha man salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad.